Shameless Self-Promotion. These are my two books. Uh, I write about New York, East Village. That's where I live. That's what I write about. So for this story, you're going to have to pretend you're in the East Village with me. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse. Wait a minute. Weren't we all part of that wretched refuge? Weren't we the outcasts, the freaks, the faggots, the tattooed rockers, or weirdos, nerds, and techno geeks from all those puckered ass cities in the middle of America where we were ridiculed, bullied, and beat up? We came down here to the village, immigrants from that other America, seeking refuge, freedom to let out the crazy creative shit inside. What happened? This was the village, Bohemia, home of free thought. Why didn't we all submit to politically correct? Would that Bloomberg and Giuliani sucker us into becoming part of the great I Love New York theme park? Mm -hmm. Is anything left to experience for real? Washington Square Park has been cleaned up and made pristine. Tompkins Square Park, it's a playground for kids and dogs now. They don't want you there anymore drinking and smoking weed. These village is gentrified. You better be careful out there now. Little Italy. Mean streets, gangsters, bookies, social clubs, mafia, they're all gone. Nothing left but a couple tourist trap restaurants and some fake festivals. Swallowed up whole by Chinatown. Times Square, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, The Lion King, I Love New York t-shirts. The flea circus is gone, the dollar hot dogs, the midnight triple feature movies are gone. The religious soapbox crazies and the Harlem hustlers are gone. The sleazy jerk off peep shows are gone. Dive bars, tranny hookers, three card monkey guys, loose joints, ten dollar Rolex watches, all gone. Where do we get the provender for new stories, new adventures? Times Square was always scary, but it was real. It fed the veins of generations of art junkies. The village. <laughs> We're just another stop on the Grand Line bus tour now. We've all become background extras from the daily deluge of tour buses, TV, and film crews. They invade our neighborhood trying to package our environment, hoping to add some local color and excitement to their bland, made from middle America TV shows and movies. Art? It's video junk food, made for those same assholes and bullies we thought we left behind in shit city, USA. Now we're safely contained and declawed like zoo animals. They gawk at us when they ride by in those double-decker tour buses, or we enter their homes safely locked up in caves as background images on their widescreen, high-def TV sets. Our silent submission gives them permission to look down on us and feel superior. You know there's a village bookstore that hosts an open mic where performance poets like me are requested to not speak five specific four-letter words because we might scare off paying customers. <laughs> Hey, the word scared you. Maybe you should stay the fuck out of bookstores. <laughs> Your children shout out these same words every day on their Christian and Orthodox school buses. We hear them. Didn't George Cohen win this fight for us a long time ago? This is the village. If you don't like it here, go back to Yonkers or Oyster Bay or wherever the fuck you come from, where your smiling, genteel neighbors are probably whispering those very same words about you behind your back. What happened to hang out, drink cheap wine, talk about art, stumbling out of the White Horse Tavern at 2 a.m., smelling wino piss and garbage on hot over sidewalks, wanting desperately to walk in the literary footsteps of O'Neill, Thomas, Kerouac, Ginsburg, Pfeiffer, Dillon, Mailer, Thomas, Cummings, Corso, Ferlinghetti, and all those other immigrant vagabonds who painted portraits with words of the America we want to live in. I want to write poems again on a midnight fire escape under moonlight. I want to make fast, intense love in a dark tenement doorway while a lowest side of fighting cock hurls in the sunrise. I want to sing the song of my life to the world with a guitar and a park bench. I want to get wild, get crazy, get creative, get arrested, get high. I just want to feel alive again. Hey, fuck it. Why don't we all just dress up like beatniks and hippies and punks and take pictures with the tourists and be done with it? Welcome to the I Love New York theme park, folks. <laughs>